Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am Elder Cosme E. Sims. And we are Mama Felicia Boca Sims. And we are Jesus, Jesus Reigns, Reigns Restoration Ministry. Ministry. And this is part two of our lesson. Pastors. Wachungaji. Brethren. Na wandugu. You can't do it all. Uwezi kufanya yote katika huduma. We can't do it all. Uwezi kufanya yote katika huduma. You know, I have a saying. Uh, and it's true. I know it's true. Na 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 minu msema wani kweli. I tell my wife that God didn't call us to save the world. But to be a witness. Amen. 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 That's, that's his job. Through his, through his Holy Spirit. Through, the, through his Holy Ghost. One man planner. Another man water, but God get an increase. Amen. 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 And and we have to as in the church when it comes to us wanting to work in God's vineyard and do something for the Lord. Uh the pastors, uh ministers, you know, the those there are some that do have respect of person. We can't lie about that. And it's it's evident that it is it, it's times it's shown. And a lot of times it's shown through family members. Even when that family even when that pastor stepped down, they put a son or a daughter or somebody in their stead to pastor the church. Mchungaji ikibidi majukumu aache majukumu labda kwa ajili ya mambo ya sababu za kiafya au umri badala kuomba Mungu waongozwe nani achukue huduma wanampa tu mtoto wake anayefuata Amen Amen So we so but when it comes down to an uh, individual a lay member or a saint working in the church Paul made that mistake with Barnabas uh, concerning Mark Utaona katika maandiko Paulo alifanya makosa hayo na Barnabas kuhusiana na Marko. And where he judged Mark as not being with them and not doing the work of Aka God. Akamhukumu Marko kwamba hayupo nao na hafanyi kazi ya Bwana. And the Bible say the 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 contention the argument between Paul and Barnabas was so great. Yaani Biblia inasema ubishano katika Paulo na Barnabas ulikuwa mkubwa kiasi kwamba that God separate them with written separate ye Paul and Barnabas. Kiasi kwamba akawatenganisha kabisa katika huduma. Ndio kuna maandiko yanasema hivyo. And Paul picked up Silas and he went on and Barnabas picked up Mark and he went on. Utaona Paulo amchukua alichukua Silas akaenda naye na uh, Barnabas akachukua Mark. And he continued the work. He continued the work still in the body of Christ. Wakaendelea kazi ya Mungu katika mwili wa Kristo lakini they had a bad disagreement about Mark. Walikuwa na ubishano mkubwa sana kuhusiana na Mark. But then Paul in his writings to the church later on, lakini Paulo katika maandiko yake kwa kanisa, began to praise and admonish Mark for the good works he's done in the body of Christ. Akaanza kumsifia Marko kwa kazi njema alizozifanya katika mwili wa Kristo. I bring that up because we can't judge or measure the heart of someone. Tunasema hili kwa sababu hatuwezi kupima moyo wa mtu. We don't know what's in their heart or what they want to do for God. Hatujui kilichomo ndani ya mioyo yao na wanachotaka kumtenga. And all because a person is in there in the present that don't mean that they're not there in spirit. Na ina maana kwamba mtu kama hayuko pale kimwili hayuko kwamba hayuko pale kimwili. For even apostle Paul told the church I, even though I'm not there in your presence I am there in with you in spirit. Hata mtumishi Paulo alikuwa anapenda kusema katika maandiko siko nanyi kimwili lakini niko nanyi katika roho. It may be a place that you cannot go to be there with a, a family or a loved one or someone that has lost a loved one but you in prayer and you keeping them in prayer and you're there with them in spirit. Unaona kuna wakati huwezi kwenda kuwa na ndugu mahali fulani ni mbali kuna sababu mbalimbali lakini unakuwa nao pale katika roho japo huko pale nao kimwili. Remember the words of the Lord. Kumbuka neno ya Bwana. Neno Man wana. look on the outward appearance judge with the outward appearance. Wanadamu ana hukumu kwa kuona kwa nje. But God judges the heart. Bali Mungu ana hukumu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let us do not uh judge not that you be not judged. 
Tuwe makini, tuwe tuka hukumiwa, usi hukumu. But in equally dividing the word of truth, Jesus also say, judge righteous judgment. Kati ila katika ku, eh, kupambanua maandiko vizuri, kufafanua maandiko mazuri, vizuri. Bwana yesu alituambia, tutende, tuhukumu katika haki. If someone sin in your presence, you correct it with thus says the Lord. That is righteous judgment. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it, you, here in the vineyard, uh, they, you, you say, what do I do when I want to work in God's vineyard and can't? Nataka nitumie katika shamba la Bwana lakini siwezi. I, I, I want to work but I ask the pastor can I do this can I do that? Muomba mchungaji. The pastor saying no. The pastor may discern that you is that you're not ready for it. Mchungaji anaweza kawa anashuhudia moyoni mwake na ikawa ni kweli kwamba bado hauko tayari. He may be doing according to the word. The word of God tell us to wait on our ministry. Neno la Mungu linatuambia tusubirie katika huduma zetu. But a lot of people don't wait. They some wait and some uh, uh, went and weren't sent. Katika neno la Mungu unakuta wengine wanakurupuka tu wanaanzisha tu huduma wenyewe. Kuna walioenda na hawakutumwa. Many are called but few are chosen. Wengi wameitwa bali wachache ndio walioteuliwa. So you know we we have the we can discern good and evil and the pastor he can discern certain things concerning his ministry because he got gifts. Mtungaji yeye amepewa karama na amepewa maono na roho wa Mungu anasema naye pia. And he may be a prophet where the prophet is subject to the prophet. Inawezekana ni nabii na unabii roho ya nabii huwa inaendana na roho ya nabii mwingine. God speaks to his prophets. Bwana husema na manabii wake. And give them instruction. Na kuwapa maelekezo. So like I said not all pastors some pastors. Sio wachungaji wote bali baadhi. And you just may not be ready. Amen. But God has spoken to him to, uh, and have an appointed time for you or then the Lord had put you put him have him put him put you on hold concerning various positions and allowing someone else to hallelujah to operate in that office. Inawezekana Mungu amemwelekeza mtu mwingine ashike majukumu yale ambayo wewe unaomba kuyashika wakati ule. For there's uh there's a administration there are many uh, active parts in the body of Christ, administration in, in God's body, but there's one spirit. Kuna roho mmoja, lakini katika mwili wa Kristo, kuna kutenda kazi na huduma kwa njia mbali mbali. Amen. Amen. And the uh, foot can't do without the leg, and the hand can't do without the arm. Amen. All of us work together in the body of Christ. Sisi wote, tunatenda kazi katika mwili mmoja wa Kristo. Sasa useme mguu hawezi kutenda kazi bila mkono. Mkono hawezi kutenda kazi bila kichwa na hivyo. Amen. Amen. And God wants you to be fruitful. Bwana anataka And God, wanna, God will bless you for your faithfulness. Amen. Na Bwana atakubariki kwa uaminifu wako. Amen. Amen. Only what you do for Christ will last. Ni kile tu unachomtendea Yesu Kristo ndio kitadumu. But what do I do when I want to work in hallelujah uh in, in in the body of Christ in God's vineyard in King. And, and my answer is to pray. To fast. To wait on God. For the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delight in his ways. Inasema hivi Hatua za mtu zaimarishwa na Bwana naye aipenda njia yake. I want to assure you that whatever you don't learn from the past. Nataka ni kuhakikishie kwamba kile ambacho haujajifunza au una nafasi ya kujifunza kutoka kwa mchungaji. Whatever you do not ex, uh hallelujah uh, you are not able to handle with your hands or do in the house of God. Chochote kile ambacho hauna nafasi sasa hivi ya kukifanya katika nyumba ya Bwana. If the pastor won't teach it God will do it. Kama mchungaji haiko tayari kukufundisha wakati ule, Bwana atakuwa anakutayarisha kwa njia zake tu mwenyewe. If the pastor won't teach or do, God will. Kama mchungaji hayuko tayari kukufundisha, Bwana atakufundisha kama ile ni huduma yako. Read John 14:26 please. Nitasoma Yohana mtakatifu 14 mstari wa 26 katika jina la Bwana. Lakini huyo msaidizi, huyo Roho mtakatifu 
ambaye baba atampeleka kwa jina langu atawafundisha yote na kuwakumbusha yote niliyowaambia Jesus said John 14:26 but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things here we go with teaching hapo tena tuna neno the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit will teach you in the name of Jesus. He said, the Father will send in my name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And bring all things, not some, all things to your remembrance. What the pastor don't teach you. What man what man's knowledge don't teach you. The Holy Ghost will teach you. The Holy Ghost will give you instruction. Amen. And those examples of weddings and funerals and baby Christians. Holy communion. Presiding. Hey, the Holy Ghost will teach you. And he said, and whatsoever I have said unto you. Who's saying this? Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. The comforter. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. It's times that we want to work in the church and we feel comfortless. We feel out of place. You want to do more. You got gifts. And you want to help the church. But you feel like your hands are tied. The Lord will make a way somehow. Amen. Amen. You do whatever you can do at the time, but you wait on God for better. And if you desire to work in God's house, God will give you the desires of your heart. That's God's word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. John, read John 16 and 13, please. Johanna Mtakatifu Kumina Sita. Lakini ye atakapo kuja, huyo roho wa kweli. Atawaongoza watie kwenye kweli yote. Kwa maana hata nena kwa shauri lake mwenyewe, lakini yote atakayoyasikia atayanena. Na mambo yajayo atawapasha habari yake. Yeye atanitukuza mimi. I'm ready 14. Yes. Kwa kuwa atatwa katika aliyo yangu na kuwapasha habari. St. John's chapter 16 verse 13 through 14. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. For he shall receive a mind and shall show it unto you. Amen. 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 God will show you what you need to do. Mungu he will tell you chakufani. what you need to do. Nini Moses said, Lord, who do I say to Mo? Who do I tell Pharaoh sent me? Moses, Musa aliuliza, Bwana, ni muambie Farao nani amenituma? Tell him I am that I am Kama sent ambia, you. Muambie, Amen. He will equip, equip you with whatever you need. For God will supply our every need according to his riches and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word of God says here in 1 Corinthians. Katika waraka wa kwanza wa Korinto. 2 and 12 through verses 14. Waraka kwanza wa Korinto 2:12. 1 Corinthians 2nd chapter verse 12 through 14. Read those please. Tasoma katika jina la Bwana. Lakini sisi hatupokea roho ya dunia bali roho atokaye kwa Mungu. Makusudi tupate kuyajua tuliyokirimiwa na Mungu. Nayo twayanena 
si kwa maneno yanayofundishwa kwa hekima ya kibinadamu bali yanayofundishwa na roho tukia fasiri mambo ya rohoni kwa maneno ya rohoni that is 13 14 please na 14 na 14 katika jina bwana basi mwanadamu wa tabia ya asili hayapokei mambo ya roho wa Mungu maana kwake huyo ni upuuzi wala hawezi kuyafahamu kwa kuwa yatambulikana kwa jinsi ya rohoni 1 Corinthians 2 and 12 Now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. We got the spirit of God that we may know of his will and his way. Tumepewa roho wa Mungu ili tujue mapenzi yake. Freely given, freely received, say at the Lord. Amesema Bwana, yametolewa bure, yanapokelewa bure. Any man lack lack wisdom or knowledge, let him ask of God is free. Mwanadamu yeyote yule anayepungukiwa na hekima, amuombe Bwana, atapewa bure. Amen. Amen. God don't want you to be bound but God wants you to be free. Bwana hataki ufungwe bali anataka uwe huru. And we are the children of the free. Sisi ni wana wa walio huru. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 13 which things also we speak not in the words which man speak man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Compare spiritual things with spiritual things. It's a spiritual thing I told you earlier that you got to have the Holy Ghost to be able to minister to God. Minister to God's people. Let me say that again. Any man not having the spirit of Christ is none of his. Romans 8 and 9. You got to have the spirit to be able to spiritually discern the will of and way of the Lord. Inabidi uwe na Roho Mtakatifu uweze kupambanua yaliyo ya Roho Mtakatifu wa Bwana. To properly minister to God's people and work in God's vineyard. Kuweza kufanya kazi ya Mungu ipasavyo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In verse 14. But and in verse 13 where it say compare spiritual things to spiritual. Kulinganisha mambo ya kiroho na mambo ya kiroho. The word of God say try the spirit by the spirit and see if it be of God. Neno la Mungu linasema pambanua roho kwa kutumia roho uweze kutambua kama ni yatoka kwa Bwana. Lord, what works I need to do to inherit the kingdom of God? Aliulizwa mtu, aliuliza mtu nifanye kazi vitu gani ili niweze kurithi ufalme wa mbinguni. Jesus answer is Bwana Yesu akamwambia to believe on whom God has sent Muamini yule ambaye Mungu amemtuma. My brothers, my sisters, pastors, believe God. Hallelujah. Wa Mungu, muamini Bwana. That when you're lacking or you don't have enough or things need to be done or you need help, God is an ever-present help in time of trouble. Kumbuka wakati una mapungufu, unahitaji hiki kwenye huduma, hakitimii, Mungu Bwana Yesu Kristo anatimiza mahitaji yetu sawa sawa na mapenzi yake kwa wakati wako kwa njia yake. The Lord will make a way somehow. Bwana Mungu atatengeneza njia kwa njia moja kwa njia, kwa njia yake peke yake. And in, we are instructed to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Sisi tunaelekezwa nini? Tumsubirie Bwana. And he shall na strengthen our heart. Naye atatutia nguvu. Wait I say on the Lord. Subiria katika Bwana. You want to work Hallelujah in a certain ministry you want to teach you want to do something in the house of God and you're not being utilized like uh, 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 properly or you know they need help and they're not using you unajua anahitaji msaada lakini hawako tayari kukutumia wait on the Lord wewe msubirie bwana kwa nini and be of good courage na uwe na moyo mkubwa and he shall strengthen thy heart atakutia nguvu wait i say subirie bwana usilalamike wala usilalamike wala usitende request be known unto the Lord wacha mahitaji yako yajulikane na bwana Move. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. And verse 14, but the natural man don't receive uh receive not the things which let me read that again. Mm -hmm. But the natural man receive not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. Amen. Amen. I explain that. 
Nimeelezea vizuri sana hii. Amen. Let the saints say amen. Wacha tu watu wa Mungu waseme amina. Again, not by my power, not by my might, but by my spirit says the Lord. Sio kwa uweza wala kwa nguvu bali kwa roho wake mtakatifu. I make all things new. Yeye anafanya yote anakuwa mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here Acts 6 and 2. Let's Matena go there. Matena mitume sita mbili. I'm going to read Acts 6 chapter, second verse. I want you to read it first. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo matendo ya mitume sura ya sita, mstari wa pili. Wale tena shara wakawaita jamii ya wanafunzi wakasema haipendezi sisi kuliacha neno la Mungu na kuhudumu mezani. That is verse 2. Okay. Then the 12 called the multitude and the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Read three, please. Stari watatu katika njina abwana. Basi ndugu, chagueni watu saba miongoni mwenu. Walio shuhudiwa kuwa wema. Wenye kujawa na roho. Na hekima ili tuwaweke juu ya jambo hili. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report filled with the Holy Ghost and wisdom whom we may appoint over this business. Read verse 4 please. Sari wane. Na sisi tutadumu katika kuomba na kulihudumia lile neno. That is 4. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Read 5 please. Tano. Katika jina la buwana. Neno hili likapendeza machoni pa mkutano wote. Wakamchagua Stefano, mtu aliyeja imani na roho mtakatifu, na Filipo, na Prokoro, na Nikanori, na Timoni, na Panmena, na Nikolao, muongofu wa Antokia. Verse 5, and he said, please, and his sayings pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith. And of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Proclamus, and Nicur, and Timon, and uh, Pro Promenus, and Nicholas, and Prosper, and Antioch. Amen. Read, please. Sita, six. Ambao, wakawaweka mbele ya mitume. Na walipokuisha kuomba, wakawaweka mikono yao ju yao. Hallelujah. Whom set, whom they set over the apostles, and when they laid hands, when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. Seven, please. Saba. Neno la mungu likaenea. Na hesabu ya wanafunzi ikazidi sana katika Yerusalemi. Jamii kubwa ya makuhani wakaiti ile imani. Hallelujah. Verse 7. It said, and the word of God increased and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly and a great company of priests were uh, uh, obedient to the faith. Eighth, please. Nane. Na Stefano akijia neema na uwezo alikuwa akifanya maajabu na ishara kubwa katika watu. Eight. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Amen. Stephen and a lot of other the brothers that they chose yeah. over to do the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. That the men of God can devote themselves to the word of God and prayer. Amen. Yani unaona wao watumishu wa mungu wanafunzi wa Yesu waliomba watukue mnafasi nyingi zaidi kwa jile maombi na neno. Way and table. Siwa abari ya kuzi. Ushering. Today's church, the administrative part of the church. Makanisa leo, wende shaji wakanisa. Amen. The man of God, the men and women of God devoting themselves to the word of God and prayer. Wachungaji inabidi wajipunda wawe zaidi katika neno la mungu na maombi. They went out and got help. They needed help. 
The reading of this is a is an example Unifano. that you can't do it by yourself. God don't want you to do it by yourself. When he sent them, he sent them two by two. Amen. To heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. Don't take no purse, don't take nothing with you. But whatever you give, somebody give you. Wherever you go, bless them. Bless their house. And those that don't give unto you, they don't give unto me. And when they don't give unto you, shake off the dust off of your feet. It'd be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah for them. And Sodom and Gomorrah burnt to the ground. And Amen. Amen. The songwriter said, never alone. He he never left me alone. Amen. The father's always with me. He said, Lord, I'll be with you to the end of the world. Amen. God will prepare you for the work. And he chose these men filled with the Holy Ghost and an honest report. He said, take clean hands and handle that which is of God. Amen. And that's why we have to live holy. For he is holy. Amen. Amen. And Stephen, the story of Stephen, man full of faith and with power and doing wonders and miracles. The enemy did a hallelujah. He witnessed before the Pharisees and so forth. And because he witnessed the truth and, and hallelujah, Jesus Christ and him crucified, they, they stoned him to death. Ndiyo mana tunaona huyu ni yule Stefano alia ishia kupigwa mawe kwa sababu ya kazi ya buwana. But before he died, he looked up to heaven and, he, and the Lord was standing at the right hand of God. Lakini kabla ya hawaja muua, and Stephen said, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge, asking for their mercy for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word of God said that the Lord stood in his arm. He that saved his life will lose it. But he that loses life for my name's sake, Jesus said, he shall find it. He shall have eternal life. Amen. Don't fear those that can destroy the body but not the soul. But fear him, fear Jesus that can destroy both body and soul in hell. Nafsi na mwili kwenye moto wa jahana. Yes, fear him. Muogope huyo. Amen. Amen. That's an example there. Acts 15 and 39. Matendo wa mitume 19, 39. And hallelujah. 15, 39 and 40. I want to read that. Amen. And this is where I was telling you early where it says, And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from another, and so Barnabas took Mark and Saul unto Cyprus, and sailed unto Cyprus, uh, uh, Paul, uh, Paul and, bon uh, and Mark, Barnabas and Mark. And Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of God. Read that, please. Tasoma 39:40 katika jina la Bwana. Basi palitokea mashindano baina yao hata wakatengana. Banaba akamchukua Marko akatweka kwenda Kipro. Lakini Paulo akamchagua Sila akaondoka akiombewa na wale ndugu apewe neema ya Bwana. 2 Timothy 4 verse 10 and 11. For Dinamus uh, hath forsaken me, Paul said, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, uh, Cretan at Galatia, Titus unto 
down Matha. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Amen. amen he gave amen. him a good report. Amen. Bring him, bring him. He's working for the Lord. Wakati wa waraka wa pili wa Timoteo 4 mstari wa 10 nitasoma katika jina la Bwana inasema hivi Maana Dema aliniacha akiupenda ulimwengu huu wa sasa akasafiri kwenda Thessalonike Kreske amekwenda Galatia Tito amekwenda Dalmatia Luka peke yake yupo hapa pamoja nami Umtoe Marko umlete pamoja nawe maana anifaa kwa utumishi amen 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 so here mark where he thought that he was not doing the work and he was not following uh their instruction and he wanted to rebuke him mark alipoona kwamba kama vile alikuwa afati maelekezo akataka kumuona he got a good report from the brother and he said bring him he's profitable for the ministry akaambiwa kwamba anafaa kwa huduma Amen. Amen. The songwriter said, "Let God, the work I'm I've I'm done to, speak for me." Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And here, uh, Exodus. Kitabu uh, cha kutoka. Exodus, uh, eighteen and thirteen. Kumina nane sura kumina nane kwanza msa rakumina. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses set to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses. From the morning until evening. Read that please. Amen. Kutoka kumina nane, mstari wa kumina tatu. Asubu yake, Musa kaketi ili. Awapishie hukumu watu. Na hawa watu, wakasimama kumzungu ka Musa. Tangu asubu yi hata jioni. That is 13. So Moses, he stood in it, stood all day judging the people of Musa God. Musa alikuwa siku nzima. Various situations. Kusuluhisha matatizo mbalimbali, kutoa hukumu, kuotoa maongozo. Verse 14. Sura 14. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, "What is this thing that thou doest to the people?" Read. Sura 14. Mkwewe Musa alipoyaona yote alio wafanyia watu akasema ni jambo gani hili uwatendalo hao watu kwani wewe kuketi hapo peke yako na watu wote kusimama kwako tangu asubuhi hata jioni why sit thou thyself alone and all the people stand by thee from morning until evening why are you out here judging these people all day in the sun akamuuliza kwa nini una kwa yourself peke yako ndio unawasuluhisha hawa watu kutwa that, nzima that's what his father in law said to him baba mkwe wake alimuuliza now no he was on the outside looking in yeye alikuwa ni mtu wa nje akiangalia kinachoendelea he was not jewish hakuwa muisraeli he wasn't from he, you know he, he he was a father in law but he sometimes you sometimes people look at it as being rough criticism but somebody some, on the outside looking in seeing a situation you might get a better answer or more honest answer as to what's going on sa nyingine mtu wa nje anaweza kakupa maneno ya ukweli kuhusu swala fulani amen if the if, if somebody that's not in the faith if they say jesus wept and they weren't saved i can say amen kama mtu ambaye hajaokoka akisema neno fulani kutoka neno la mungu mfano yesu alilia because it's the word he did anasema neno la mungu so his father law say you out here early in the morning all day long in the sun these people standing in the sun you over here sitting over here and you judging the people all alone why alimuuliza hilo swali kwa nini we ndo na hukumu wa watu siku nzima 18 and Moses said unto his father-in-law because the people come unto me to inquire of God read Sura 15 Musa Musa akamwambia mkwewe ni kwa sababu watu hunijilia mimi wapate kumuuliza Mungu 16 when they have a matter they come unto me and I will judge between one another and i do make them know the statutes of god and the law read 
16 wakiwa na neno hunijilia nami naamua kati ya mtu na mwenziwe nami nawajuvisha amri za Mungu na sheria zake And Moses father law said unto him the things that thou doest is not good read 17 mkwewe Musa akamwambia jambo hili ufanyalo si jema Thou shall surely wear away. You going to wear down. You going to burn out doing this thing. Thou shall surely wear away both that thou and this people that is with thee for this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Read. 18. Huna budi utadhofika wewe na hawa watu walio pamoja nawe pia maana jambo hili ni zito mno kwako huwezi wewe kulitenda peke yako His father law advised him don't do this thing alone it's too heavy you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself Baba mko alimshauri kwamba atajidhoofisha kwa kubeba majukumu yote yeye peke yake 19 Hearken now unto the my voice I will give the counsel and God shall be with thee But thou for but thou for the people of God where that thou mayest bring the cause unto God read 19 Sikiza sasa neno langu nitakupa shauri na Mungu na awe pamoja nawe uwe wewe kwa ajili ya watu mbele ya Mungu nawe umletee Mungu maneno yako Okay, I want you to interpret what I'm saying. Mm. And he talk about uh and thou shalt talk about teaching the ordinance and law of God showing them the way the people of God and the way they must walk and they and the way they must work and the things they must do. Kamweleza atawafundisha wale watu sheria za Bwana na jinsi wanapaswa kuenenda katika maisha. Amen. God uh, 21 thou uh, God using you to provide for his people. Amen. Na zaidi ya hapo mstari wa 21 anazungumzia jinsi ambavyo Mungu atamtumia kutoa mahitaji kwa Bwana kile wanachohitaji. Amen. Kwa watu wa Mungu samahani. And, and what in verse 21 he said more of thou shall provide out of the people um, men that are able. Read 21 please. Tasoma shina moja katika jina la Bwana. Zaidi ya hayo utajipatia katika watu hawa watu walio na uwezo wenye kumcha Mungu watu wa kweli wenye kuchukia mapato ya udhalimu so ukawaweka we, juu yao mm-hmm. wawe wakuu wa maelfu na wakuu wa mia na wakuu wa hamsini na wakuu wa kumi. so Moses appointed elders to judge over his people and put them in groups amen of of of, of hundreds putting them in groups uh of uh, 50s and hundreds and so forth put the elders over these groups to help him judge the people and your leisure read verses hallelujah uh Ex- exodus from the wako soma kitabu cha kutaka sura ya 18 verse 13 anzia 13 through verse 27 paka mstari wa 27 amen amen i want you to read uh verse 25 through 27 mstari wa 25 mpaka 27 tasoma katika jina la Bwana Musa akawachagua watu wenye uwezo katika Israeli yote akawaweka wawe vichwa juu ya watu wakuu wa maelfu na wakuu wa mia na wakuu wa hamsini na wakuu wa kumi. nao wakawaamua watu siku zote mashauri magumu wakamletea Musa lakini kila neno dogo wakaliamua wenyewe kisha Musa akaaga na mkwewe naye akaenda zake paka nchi yake mwenyewe So Moses he chose uh able bodied men hallelujah men of God elders to hallelujah to judge and rule uh not rule but to judge over made them heads over thousands made them heads over hundreds made them heads over rulers over 50s and over tens of people Amen. Amen to help him judge. Amen. The the people of God. Mm-hmm. And Moses let his father-in-law depart and he went his way 
into his own land. Amen. Amen. After that. Amen. So the reason for that is you need help. Sababu ya hii ni wakiki kwa. You don't have to do it alone. Wa mungu, mtu wa, watu kwa Amen. 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 Chagua watu wanao amenika. Because we help us one to another. Tuna, tupa tunasaidiana katika huduma. In Jesus name. Eh, katika jina la Yesu. This conclude part two of our lesson. Hapo inaishia sehemu ya pili ya somo hili. Hallelujah. Pastors. Wachungaji. Brethren. Na watu wa mungu. You can't do it all. Wezi kufanya yote katika kazi ya mwana. Amen. Amen.